this video, I'm going to show you how I made this paper towel holder. Now I know that paper towel holders are kind of cheap and it would be easy to just go and buy one. But the great thing about DIY, remember, is that you can customize and you can make your project look exactly the way that you want it to, to match your decor. So let's get started. A crucial first step is to grab your favorite brand of paper towels and a measuring tape. And we're gonna take a couple of key measurements. First, we need to know the diameter all the way across a paper towel that is full of paper. This one measures just a bit more than five inches across. Second, we're gonna measure that little cylindrical piece of cardboard that runs right through the middle of the paper towel. We need to know the diameter of that as well. This one measures about one and a half inches. And then lastly, we need to know the height of the paper towel. And this one comes in at 11 inches. Once you have the measurements of a paper towel roll, you can start to figure out the measurements of your paper towel holder. And these are the measurements that I used. And then it was time to go shopping. For the center, I went to Lowe's and picked up a one inch diameter dowel rod. I purchased this round wood plaque from Hobby Lobby to use as the base of my paper towel holder. Now let's get to work building this thing. Using a pencil, a piece of paper, and a tape measure, we're going to find the center of this circular board. This way we can be sure we're placing the dowel in the exact center of it. I turned my board over on the back side just so that I could mark it up as much as I needed to without anybody seeing those marks. Use a tape measure or a ruler. You're going to need a straight edge for this part. I'm placing the ruler on one of the sides of the circle and measuring a six inch length and then marking the halfway point, which is three inches along that line. Repeat this process two more times so that you have a total of three lines on your circle. It doesn't matter where you put them as long as you're tracing a line using a straight edge and that you're marking the halfway point of the distance of those three lines. Next, you need something that has a 90 degree angle on it. I'm using a piece of paper. So I'm lining up that piece of paper along the straight line, but also in line with the midpoint of the line. I'm drawing a line near the center of the board using the piece of paper as my straight edge. And then I'm going to repeat this process two more times. When you're finished, you should have three intersecting lines that mark the center of your board. Now, since all my markings are on the back side of the board, I'm going to use a very small drill bit and drill a hole from the back side all the way to the top side of the board. This hole is going to be how you attach the dowel to the base of your paper towel holder. This next step is completely optional. I'm going to use a spade bit to drill a sinkhole into the base just to make the dowel a bit more secure when I fasten it to the base. I'm going to use a one inch spade bit to match the one inch diameter on the dowel. Be careful not to drill too far into the base. I like to use a bit of tape so that I can mark exactly where on the bit I want to stop drilling. Again, this step is completely optional. If you don't have a spade bit, you can just drill a screw straight from the bottom of the base into the dowel. And I will show you that in a later step. Now we're gonna focus on the dowel rod. You're gonna need a cutting tool, 
a measuring tape, a pencil, and if you're using power tools, remember to use glasses and ear protection. The end of my dowel rod is actually pretty rough, so the first cut I'm going to make is to just cut off a tiny portion at the end to smooth out that surface. Now I'm going to measure 11 and a half inches and make the cut. The old adage says measure twice and cut once and I should have paid more attention because I made a mistake. I actually cut my board at 12 and a half inches instead of 11 and a half inches. So I needed to go back through and fix that. The dowel should fit right on top of the center of the base and then eventually we're going to attach it by screwing a screw from the bottom right up into the dowel. From this point on, we're basically done, but you can choose to customize your paper towel holder by adding some decorative touches. I'll go through each one of these and hopefully give you some ideas for your project. The first thing I'm going to do is use my Dremel tool to add a rounded edge to the top of the dowel rod. Again, each of these steps is optional and completely up to you and your design taste. Another option is to add a decorative piece to the top of the dowel rod. Hobby Lobby also has quite a large selection of cabinet doorknobs. I picked up a copper one to use as a decoration at the top of the paper towel holder. To do this, you will need a drill bit. The size of the drill bit will depend on the size of the topper that you're putting on. If you line the drill bit up with the decorative top, the width of both should match. Then drill your hole in the center of the dowel rod. Try to keep your drill as straight as possible. I'm also choosing to sand, stain, and seal my paper towel holder. I start with a rough grit sandpaper and sand all around the base and the dowel. And then I take a very fine grit sandpaper and go over the entire thing again and just make sure everything is nice and smooth. Next, I'm gonna get the dowel rod and base set up and ready for staining. I'm using risers to prop up the base. I also ran a screw through the bottom side of a scrap piece of wood in order to prop up the dowel rod too. I'm using a Carrington wood stain and a staining pad in order to add color to my paper towel holder. I usually use a couple of coats of stain on my projects, so in between coats I put my staining pad in a plastic bag just to keep it from drying out. When one side is dry, I flip the base over and work on the other side. I put the stain on and I have to admit I usually put on more stain than I need but then I wipe in the direction of the wood grain and wipe off the excess stain as I work. Next I'm going to seal the stain with a matte finish. A matte finish is a very flat finish. There isn't any shine on this sealer at all. If you want something a little shinier, consider using a satin finish in order to get a glossy shine. I apply this with a just a cheap little sponge brush. I put on at least two coats and I sand in between each coat with a very fine grit sandpaper. Be careful when you're applying sealer. If it gets too thick in some places, it can dry white instead of clear. So I'm just going through and making sure that I'm cleaning up any parts that look a little thicker. 
And don't forget to put sealer on the back side of the base as well. Now that everything's dry, it's time to assemble the paper towel holder. All you're going to need for this is a wood screw and a screwdriver or a drill. You're going to take the screw, start on the back side of the base, drill up through the base and straight into the dowel rod, connecting these two pieces together. If you don't have the sinkhole in the base for the dowel to sit inside of, consider putting a bit of glue on the dowel rod just to give the connection a little bit more strength. Next, I'm going to put the copper top onto the paper towel holder. But remember that this was originally a cabinet knob. And so first I need to get rid of the nut and washer that come with it. And then just screw it into place um, using the hole that you drilled previously. Now I'm going to add some soft felt pads to the bottom of the base just so that when I put it on my countertop it doesn't scratch anything. And here's what we've ended up with so far. I still have plans to add a quote that goes around the base of the paper towel holder, but I have to admit my calligraphy skills are pretty horrendous. So I'm going to ask a friend of mine to help me out with that. So as far as this project goes, it is almost complete. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you!